Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Kendra here and I am back with another decorate with me video. Uh, I decided to move into the house today because I do have other stuff with the outside of the house that I want to do, but I want to make sure the inside of the house gets decorated uh, before and then I can see what I have left to do the rest of the outside. So today we are going to start with my office this is the room i am most excited for decorating it's going to be very different from the rest of the house but this ha this room is going to be more dark and like because all my magical stuff is more dark and mystical and i am super excited we're going to change the color of the walls in here so that it will be a, it'll give off that more dark look to it we're going to add lots of different things to this room that are harry potter themed magical themed all that kind of stuff and my plan for it is super exciting so i hope it turns out the way I hope it to. So we're gonna speed things up and you can hang out with me while I decorate. Day breaks and I'm burned by the morning light. I make the same mistake more than twice. Same song, but brand new dance I wear out my third second chance You take my breath and I can't get it back Might be time for me to face the facts The best me is with you But I know I got a lot to prove They think we're too damaged to fix But we're just working through a little rust They like to say we're just young But I know we
mistakes and I'm burned by the morning light I make the same mistake more than twice Same song, but brand new dance I wear out my third second chance You would take my breath and I can't get it back Might be time for me to face the facts The best me is with you But I know I got a lot to prove we're too damaged to fix, but we're just working through a little rust. They like to say we're just young, but I know we won't give this up. Sometimes I lose my mind, and some days it's hard to find the reason why you stay by my side. You. everyone we are not done with this room but i have been decorating for a good long time in here and i think i'm going to do this in two parts um although i did put some stuff on the bookcases i think the second part will be me decorating these bookcases because i think it's gonna take probably another good long time to do that so i didn't want this video to get too long um, but let me show you what I have done so far. I'm obsessed with this room. I it couldn't have turned out any better than it has. Obviously, you saw me make a few mistakes, but like deleting the house. Oh, that was a mess. But um, actually, it wasn't that I deleted it, thank goodness, because then I would have had to retexture the walls and everything. All I did was take it. So it was actually in my inventory with these wall colors and everything. I just had to res it back out. But I had to line it up perfect, and that was all sorts of messy. Um, so let's start in the entryway come over here so the entryway into the room is here oh there's one more thing I wanted to put down let me do that now because it's really cute um, and I didn't res it out and I should have it is actually it's meant for the outdoors but um, it's perfect for this room so we're gonna put it in here um, Yes, I have in my inventory a whole Harry Potter decor folder. So that's how much I have in here. And the thing I wanted to put out is this. Um, let me turn it around so that it's facing out. It says, Wizards Welcome, Muggles Tolerated. So, I thought that was cute to put here in the doorway into the room. Because um, I have a different welcome mat for the front of the house. So, anyway, you walk into my little 
doormat and there's a few signs on the wall this one is from it was a freebie from the Halloween shop and hop and it says you say witch like it's a bad thing oops Ugh. and then over here this is one of probably my oldest decor pieces but one of my favorite Deathly Hallows is my favorite like symbol from the Harry Potter movies. Uh, this is from Dahlia and I think I got it from the the Wizarding Fair the first year I was on here with Kendra. And it's beautiful. Like with the flowers, so feminine yet obviously Harry Potter. So then we come over here and we have the Mirror of Arisad with and this guys was from Chimia and I want to thank Pawpaw for this one because um, in her discord channel she posted that Chimia was giving had like a whole bunch of free gifts and you could go and join their group and then get these free gifts well this was one of the free gifts and I'm not sure it has something Latin on top. I don't think this is meant to be the Mirror of Arisad. Maybe it's like the... Because they didn't want to do the the copyright stuff with it. But it looks almost identical. It's so close that to me it's obvious. Um, and then on either side I have these owl sconces from Hextraordinary. I think they're adorable and they look beautiful on either side of the mirror because of the gold. All right and then in the center of the room right here we have the this is from Cheeky P. It's a it's like a foosball but it's Quidditch instead of soccer and I love it. Look at how cute it is. And you can actually, it actually anima animates you so you can like play. I don't think you really play, it's just like animating you, but look at that. And this I got from this year's Wizarding Fair. Um, and it is not centered on this rug. Oops, I don't want to copy it, I want to edit it. All right, so let's center this on the rug. And I think it needs to come over here. See, I'm always fixing things. So anyway, this is very cool. And then this rug is also from the um, Halloween Shop and Hop. And it was from... It was a freebie gift, too, from the Shop and Hop. It was from Orange or Dragon Magic Wares. And I love it because it's very magical. It's got the runes on the um, on the edges, and then that like magical eye in the center. So that's real cute. And then I actually just went to Half Deer today, and I found this one of my favorite gotcha sets that they have was they were um, they had all the pieces on sale. I think commons were 175 and rares were 300 for this set and it was um this like broom and I it's so cute look at it and it's got like a little a little blackboard bird up on the top and he's so cute and then over here in the corner is my favorite. You guys already, if you saw my last house tour, you know that this is my favorite decor piece of all time. It's my Phoenix. And this is also from Hextraordinary. And he's just so cool. Let me show you. Um, you can turn him into a chick. And the, th the story with phoenixes is, is that they that they burst into flames when they die, and then they're reborn again from their ashes. 
So this has the entire um, cycle of it. And when it's a little chick, it's you can have it as a little chick, or you could have it as the full bird, or you could cycle it. So I like to cycle it and um, and it'll change forms every hour. So it will turn from a chick into like a medium sized bird and then it'll go to the full full sized phoenix. The full sized phoenix is my favorite because it's just so beautiful with the fire on its wings and all that. All right, so up here, this was part of, where is this from? It's like Pitya, I think. No, Ulteri Ulterior Burgundy and Pitya. Okay. So these are, uh, it was part of a gotcha set that they were selling for, I think, Happy Weekend, but I'm not 100% sure. But it was on one of the weekend sales and uh, they were they were just books. I try to grab as many books as I can when I see them because I like to have different ones. I don't like to reuse the same books over and over again because your bookshelf, when you look at your bookshelf, you don't see the same books over and over again. You know, every book is different on your bookshelf. So I like every book to be different. And I have a ton more books to put on this bookshelf, but, uh, well, not a ton, but a few more books to put on this bookshelf and it will, um, so it'll fill out nicely with a bunch of different types of books. All right. This is like a little lamp. Um, I have it turned on now so you can click it and it'll light, actually light up, but it's the Deathly Hollow symbol. Um, I know Target sells these in real life <laughs> and I've never bought one, but um, I know you can buy one from Target. All right, down here. Oh, by the way, these bookcases, uh, I used them in my last house, but they are from Apple Fall and it's a whole kit that you can make an entire room a library. So I love like how modular they are and it fits in this house so perfectly. Like it was like it was made for this house. All right. Next is this little, I guess, potions like drawer or whatever. Um, it is from Peaches and it's called Haley Spellbound. And it's just like a little drawer set to put your potions or your potion ingredients or whatever in. All right. These are some more books from the Ulterior Burgundy collection of books. I bought those too. These came from a set that was supposed to be like a bookstore. So um, only these two worked out of the whole set. The other ones were like actually looked like books that you would put in a bookstore. All right. Up here is my sorting hat. And it is um, from TMH. I'm not sure what TMH is. Let me see if I can figure it out. The Mad Hattery. That's what it's from. So uh, this is the sorting hat from Harry Potter. Um, and of course, if you are going to have a magical bookshelf, the sorting hat has to be on the bookshelf. The other thing I need to get, and I'll see, I have to look. I don't, I've, I haven't ever come across it yet, but I should have a pensive on this bookshelf and I should also have a sort of Gryffindor on this bookshelf. But right now I have to deal with, I have to deal with not having those, but I'll have to go on the search for them. All right, next, these are from Aphrodite. This was from one of my weekend sales, but I really like this because the skull and the little raven bird and the jar. And then I have a crystal ball here, and this is from Peaches. It's also from that Haley Spellbound collection. And look at how cool that is. It's like a hand holding a crystal ball. All right. 
And then over here, I have a, my book lamp. And that was from a weekend sale. It was either last weekend or the week before. No, it was the weekend before. All right. And next in here, these are some potion bottles from Mad P. And um, they have Elixir of Life, Love Potion, Snake On, and Lost Souls. Those are the potions in there. And then this dress form is from Mirac and it is part of a gotcha set and there's a couple other things in this room from that set. I just bought this this weekend from Mirac. It was they split up the, all the things from this gotcha set as part of the 50 Linden Friday and I, it was like 50 Linden Friday. Uh, this one was from Second Life Home Decor weekend sale. Um, happy weekend, Saturday sale, all had a piece of it and you could put it out. Also this cauldron with the pour it, potions pouring in um, is also from that set from Merrick. And look, it's Luna's wand. Luna's wand is one of my favorite wands from the Harry Potter collection. I just think it's really pretty. Um, and I love the look of it. All right, so that's that corner. And then we come to my desk. And um, oh, we have some floating runes. This is eventually going to go on the shelf, but let's just put it down on the floor. And um, I'll grab him when I'm ready. Uh, the spell book is also from that Mirax set, and it's got some stones and all that. And some like magical writings and stuff. Look how cool that is. And this computer was a free gift at where? At Chimia. This was another one of the items that was free at Chimia. And it's just a pretty computer. Nothing special, nothing magical or anything. But I mean, it is my office and I need a computer in my office. And then I have these books and quill. This is another one of my more original sets. Um, this is from M.O. I don't know where M.O. is. Magnum Opus. I've not heard of them before. But um, I purchased them like back in the beginning of my Kendra days. And then the desk itself is from Apple Fall. And the chair also is from Apple Fall. And I purchased this over the summer. They had a, um, a summer sale where everything on the marketplace was 50 Lindens. And um, I purchased this set. Each piece was only 50 Lindens. All right, over here. I think this is from Peaches. It is. It's called the Aloha Mora Trunks. So I have. You can change the color of the scarf to match your house. I have made mine Hufflepuff, and um, it's got a little cage. And actually, I think the last time I put this out, which I think I will do is I put I'm, I put this little owl in there and I made a oh, I cannot stop clicking the wrong button but look at him he's a little Hufflepuff owl and he just so cute and so I'll put him inside that cage but I'll do that in the next video so you'll see me doing that late then all right so over here um, oh, above the ta above the desk is, I forgot the stuff on the wall, is another set of pictures that I found almost right away. Um, these are some of the more popular quotes from the Harry Potter movies. Um, so it says, happiness can be found even in the darkest of places. If one only remembers to, or darkest of times, if one only remembers to turn on the light, 
And that was a quote from Dumbledore. And it says, It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. And that also is a Dumbledore quote. And then it's... These are... Oh, these are all Dumbledore quotes. And Dumbledore is one of my favorite um, characters, so I guess that's why I bought this. Well, not just the only reason, but... Um, I love him. He's like one of my favorites in both the Fantastic Beast movies as well as the um, Harry Potter movies. And this one is, it is our choices that show us what we truly are far more than our abilities. And these sayings are just like perfect for um, the Harry Potter, this ha office because they're such good inspirational quotes and we must make the choice between what is right and what is easy so some good advice from professor dumbledore and then floating above the desk i have a uh, magical key and um i love him i was gonna actually res out a whole bunch of them to be flying like all over the room but He's five land impact, and I was like, you know, I don't need a bunch of them. But having him floating above my do uh, desk is pretty cool. All right, and then the last little area is this. The desk is the same desk as my uh, from Apple Fall. And we have the potions cabinet. This is also from that Mirax set. And this is uh, also from Half Deer. It's part of the same gotcha set that uh, I got that broom in the corner from. And then this skull, he is from, he was a free gift from Blake. All right, and then above that is this wall sign and it's a like a silhouette of a doe and it says always that's a quote from um severus snape and then we also have the this set of books and then on top of the set of books i put some magical papers that are floating in the air all right so that is what i have so far here today i will be coming back to you with a second part of this uh office makeover and with everything on my bookcases all right i hope you liked the video if you did click that thumbs up button down below it really helps my videos get seen on youtube and if you haven't already i'd love for you to join me on all of my second life adventures I uh, also have a Discord channel, and right now there's a giveaway going on, and four people will be winning a 500 Linden gift card of their choice. So if you are interested in that, you can um, join my Discord channel. There's a link in the description down below, and you can win a gift card. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this, um, this office tour. Uh, I know I am going to be I'll probably be in here a lot because I love this office all right I hope you have a great night talk to y'all later bye